the 2024 Oscar nominations have just been announced with Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and Killers of the Flower Moon leading the pack. Barbie was not far behind, but Margot Robbie was not nominated for Best Actress, and get a work, Gerwig didn't get the look for Best Director. Now reactions are coming in. ABC News Live anchor Kena Whitworth is joining me now from L.A. for more. Kena, who are some of the favorites going into this year's Oscars? Look, I think all eyes are on Oppenheimer at this point, uh, leading the pack here with 13 nominations, so that's huge. But also, you know, Diane, we saw some history being made when we look at the actress in the lead role category, starting with Lily Gladstone. Uh, she's the first Native American to be nominated in this category, which is huge for her. But also, uh, Emma Stone now becomes the second woman to be nominated for acting and Best Picture for the same film, film following Frances McDormand, which called. is really amazing, too. And a lot of people think that Emma Stone uh, could come in and actually be the winner in that category. Also, we cannot sleep on actress in a supporting role. Uh, America Ferreira getting what some consider a surprise nomination there for Barbie. And then Danielle Brooks getting a nomination for The Color Purple. And that may be one of the only nominations uh, that we see uh, for that movie as well. Although a lot of people, again, in that category, looking at Davine Joy Randolph uh, in the holdovers to win that. Um, and and let's also, Diane, take a moment to take a peek at Maestro here. Um, there was some talk within the Academy that potentially, you know, his passion project might not be as well received by the Academy Hello. as th some Hello. thought. Hello. But now, Bradley Cooper becomes the fourth person to direct himself to an acting nomination on more than one film. So there you go. To him. Any big snubs, Kana? I mean, yeah, so you mentioned it. It's Barbie, right? Up and down. So they only came in in the end with eight nominations, which ultimately is a disappointment for that movie. But then for Margot Robbie to not get nominated in lead actress and then Greta Gerwig to not get nominated in director. I know some people considered her on the bubble, but I know that's a huge disappointment overall uh, for that movie. How's the race for best picture shaping up? I know. Okay, so Oppenheimer, and a lot of people are loving Oppenheimer, but I tell you what, American fiction right now is coming in hot. And when I talk with Clayton and when I talk with Mike Muse, they say, do not overlook that. But Diane, Poor Things, having a huge morning here, 11 nominations for Poor Things. And overall, it really was a pretty big morning for Netflix. Uh, and Poor Things, I want to mention, is a searchlight is production, uh, but Netflix coming in big as well. And Bella? Kena, this what's the other big category? Is there is there another particular category that you're excited about? Well, okay, so here's the thing. If you want to look at lead actor and supporting actor, I thought it was sort of a bummer that Leonardo DiCaprio did not get a nomination there, he, although he has been very supportive of Lily Gladstone and her nomination and the movie in general, Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, so I think that's interesting. But then if you look at supporting actor, I really like Robert Downey Jr. My money's on him there. All right, we got the predictions. Kate Whitworth, thank you. <laughs> And be sure to catch the 96th Academy Awards live on Sunday, March 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific on ABC. And again, our thanks to ABC News Live anchor, Kate.